Hey, so this is LT Tarot about to do a video for you guys about your spiritual self. So last time I kind of broke down what spirituality was, but I feel like spirituality is nothing without um, understanding your spiritual self, understanding what makes you, you. So your spiritual self is made of three parts. So you have the auras, the subtle energy, and the chakras. So what I'm going to do in this video is actually break down these things. Now with the chakras, well with all three of these, they kind of go very deep. So this is just going to be a very high level of like what these things are. Um, with the chakras, I will break down each chakra so you can understand your chakras and what it does for your body. Or your spiritual self, I should say. So the first one we're going to talk about is your aura. So a lot of you probably heard the word aura, but does, don't really know what it is, right? So I'm just going to break it down on a basic level so you'll actually understand it. But your aura is your electromagnetic energy field that surrounds your body. And what it does is it actually corresponds with your chakras. So you kind of have this overall state of consciousness, right? So your aura is made up of seven different layers that kind of works well with your mental, your physical, your emotional, and your spiritual health. So again, there are seven different layers. So those seven different layers are pretty much your seven chakras, or they work just like your seven chakras. Now, these are something that you deal with daily, right? This is your daily, this is something that you use during your daily um, spiritual armor, right? So your first layer is going to um, go away during your waking hours, but it's also um, is rejuvenated during your sleep hours, right? That is called the physical aura. Then you have the astral aura, which connects um, us to our emotions. Um, the next one we have is the lower aura. Um, this one is all about um, logic and thinking. Um, we also have our higher higher aura which is all about um you know your self-compassion um the next one we have is the spiritual aura now this one is um so this is where you kind of tap into your spiritual side right uh, the next one is your intuitional um aura now this one actually helps you with your intuition right this is where your intuition is higher i mean heightened now um the last one is your absolute aura this one guides you on your life path. So each one of these are kind of like made up of different colors. So like you have your, uh, just like the chakras, which we'll talk about in a second. We have red, orange, yellow, green, um, blue. I think it's light blue. And then it's also um, violet. So those colors represent the seven layers of your aura, right? And like I said, they're connected to your actual chakra. But there's actually um, a little more colors um, that your I mean that your aura can actually have. And I'm just gonna go through those colors. So you have yellow. Yellow represents positivity, joy, learning new things. You have orange. That represents good health, vitality, creativity, going on adventures. Red means that you're grounded, you center, you're powerful. You could also be anger or have just a lot of passion. The next one we have is purple. That's where you're a visionary, you're spiritual, you're a dreamer, you're a psychic. Um, blue is calm, intuitive, healing, teacher. Green is um, optimistic, growth, balance. White represents purity, newness, spiritual, truth. And then if you see like black, gray, or brown, that means that there's some black energy there or somebody is fear, has a lot of fear or they just appear to be weak. Now, if you guys are into it, you can have somebody read your aura and tell you like what color is yours. And the thing is that your aura can change. So it can um, be red, you know, it could be purple. It's not going to always stay the same. But that could be just what frequency that you're on right now. You know, a lot of us don't change day to day, so you wouldn't have to get your aura red often. But, you know, if you feel like, okay, I grew spiritually, you know, or I've been having a lot going on, what color is my aura? 
that actually helps you like say if it was red and your anger you know or angry then you know that there's something that you need to change you know um in your life may and maybe you need to put that anger um into having more passion which red is passion as well so you have to think like that like okay how because these are the things um here's the thing or whatever with um everything that i'm going to kind of like talk to you about these things help you more spiritually so once you're aware you can make changes in your life and then you can just make a simple change by you know being aware of your aura and being aware of like making changes in your life being aware of actually um trying to live in your truth and be more happier and so knowing your aura color it can actually help you with that so your subtle energy is made up of layers of energy as well, right? So this energy radiates outward from your physical body. So what happens with this energy is, is that there could be a lot of blocks in this energy where you just don't feel like yourself. You ever get to the point where you just feel like nothing is working. I just feel sad. Life is just blah. You may be depressed, you know, things like that. And you just can't get out of a funk. Well, that's because your energy has blocks and your energy is actually holding on to a lot of trauma. So you want to like work through that trauma by maybe meditating, praying, whatever you do to get out of that funk. But you also want to shed some type of light in that as well. Like you can do an energy cleansing. Like um, there's a lot of people out there that do energy healing. You can check on my website. I do it as well. But you want to make sure that you cleanse your energy. It's really important because your subtle energy is that energy that holds on to the trauma. That's that energy that makes you feel that depression. So let's talk about your chakras. So as you see, and as we've been talking about, there are seven different chakras. And so they affect seven different areas in your body. And these are basically just your um, your energy centers that's in your actual body. The key about your chakras are you want to make sure that they stay balanced. If you have them blocked, what happens is that you it affects different areas of your life, right? So it will affect you spiritually. It will um, affect you um, emotionally, uh, physically. So you want to make sure that they're open. So there are seven main chakras. And so we're going to start from the bottom to the top. So the bottom one, which is the red one, that's the root chakra. The next one is the, uh, which is orange. That's the sacral chakra. The yellow one is called the solar plexus. The green one is the heart chakra. The red, I mean, I'm sorry, red. The blue one is the throat chakra. Um, the one above that one, the darker blue one, that's the third eye. And then the one that's above the head, which is purple, that's the crown chakra. So the root chakra is located at the base of your spine. This is the um, chakra that makes you feel grounded. Its color is red. Your root chakra also affects your, your survival skills. You feel in safety, you know, your instinct. Um, when it's in balance, you may feel a lot of trauma. You may feel like there's a chronic fear. So your root chakra also can be blocked. Um, if you have like personal issues or constant personal issues, or you have an relationship issues that actually blocks your root chakra. So one of the things you want to do, you want to make sure that you open your root chakra, um, and you can do that by using different crystals. You can do that by going to yoga. Um, you can also do that by doing meditation. But a couple of things you want to actually look out for to see if your root chakra is uh, in balance is like you may be a workaholic. You know, um, you may have dysfunctional relationships with, like with your family. Um, you may feel like you um, there's never enough to go around or you may feel terrified of a loss, you know. Or like feeling like you're not in control. You also can feel dizzy, feel anxious, feel very spacious and ungrounded. You may be a hoarder that likes to just, you know, collect things. Or you may start like eating too much or um, feel like you can't stop eating. You may also have like leg pain, um, feet problems, um, just poor, um, poor circulations. 
Or you may just tend to gain weight around the bottom half of your body, like your love hang um, handles or your um, thighs. But, you know, some ways to kind of push through it and balance it, like I said um, before, you can meditate. You can also listen to grounding music. You can go hug a tree. Go. I've heard if you take your shoes off outside and go hug a tree, that grounds you. Um, you can also do yoga. You can eat grounding foods. You can um, burn candles, like a red candle for grounding. I'm grounding yourself. You can get crystals. Um, you can also do a, um, like I said, you can go to an energy cl um, cleansing. You can use affirmation. You can just go outside and be in nature. That grounds you. But you may also not need to do anything at all because it may be balanced for you. So, but when it's balanced, I wanted to make sure I reiterated this, that when it's balanced, it makes you feel more secure. You feel more stable. You you know, your health is full or you like you're full of health. Um, you have a lot of energy and you have a lot of vitality. So you want to just make sure that you figure out if it's balanced. I think I'm going to um, include a link below to um, so you guys can take a test to find out if your root chakra is balanced or not balanced or find out what chakras are balanced or not. Or again, you could just go to a spiritual healer or somebody does energy healing or a psychic or anybody who actually um, can tell you which one is um, imbalanced. I've gotten readings before and people have told me, hey, you know, your root chakra is off, you know, or you." another thing is, and I'm not trying to make this the longest thing possible. I just want you guys to understand it. But another thing is, is that you ever try to do something and you just feel like you cannot get started. It feel like you're just floating around. Your you can't put your ideals, um, to, you know, to put your ideals to place. Um, that's your root chakra. Like at one point, I had a thousand ideals, but I could not actually. Um, go out you know i could not figure out how to get started and that was because my root chakra was off so i had to actually balance my root chakra to actually make sure you know i can start implementing these ideas and putting things out there so that's another thing too that's another example so this one is the sacral chakra so this one right here is your second chakra um it's located between your genitals and your navel and so um, just some basic issues that you may have, um, if it's, uh, unbalanced is you may have creativity issues, um, sexuality, reproduction, or pleasure. So if it is balanced, you're going to find creativity, you're going to have joy, um, sexuality, health, um, healthy sex life, um, uh, prosperity, patience, fertility, and pleasure. So if it's unbalanced, then, um, you're going to feel guilty. You're going to feel shy. You're going to be, feel like you're irresponsible. Uh, you're going to have issues with your sex, uh, sexual life. Uh, you may have allergies or an eating disorder. Or you may just feel some infert infertility. Some physical things that you may feel is like you may have chronic lower back issues. Um, you may have an um, like a cyst on your ovaries or other reproduction issues. You may always get a uh, urinary tract infection. If you're one of those people that gets one quite often, this is the reason why. Um, you may be, um, you may have pain during sex. You may have complications with your bladder or kidneys. Um, also, it it may affect you like where you if it's blocked. If you having like sexual fantasies or. Um, if you just don't like having sex anymore, period. If you want those people like, I'm, I don't really get any, uh, pleasure out of sex. This is how, uh, this is why. Also, if you have, a, uh, any type of difficulties with expressing your emotions, this is why. So what you want to do is balance your chakra. Now, I know I didn't say this, um, earlier on the last, um, slide, but what you want to make sure you do like is eat a very colorful diet because, if you eat more orange food, that balances your chakra as well. You know, your sacral chakra. If it's red, you know, if you feel like your root chakra is um, imbalanced, you eat more red food. So understand that, um, first off, that you can literally balance yourself by eating. You don't have to do anything else but eat the right food. So 
also you want to get you some tiger's eye like get you some crystals that will help um like i said get you um you want to eat orange food um that could be carrots that could be sweet potatoes um you want to do some yoga or a meditation also you want to do um you want to start like expressing yourself so um I would say start off by journaling your feelings. And there's so many different websites out there that actually have you ask these questions or answer these questions. And it helps you um, express that. Now, if you're a female, a couple things that you can do. You can do a yoni steam. That's great for you. Also, um, there's a book out there that's called... Um, what is that book called? It's the Queen of Floor book. Um, the Sacred Woman, I believe. Um, but anyway, that's a good one. Um, another book I read that would help your uh, sacral chakra is Pussy Power. I may be wrong, <laughs> but it's some kind of pussy book. <laughs> but anyway, sorry about that laugh. But yeah, so I mean, I'm going to uh, put the links below so you can actually um, look those things up. But yeah, there's so many different options out there that you can um, do to actually um, heal your sacral chakra. Okay, so this one is your solar plexus. So this one right here is located between your navel and your sacral chakra. So as we know, this one is the third one, or as you probably figured, it's the third one. So this one right here is going to affect your self-esteem. You know, it's going to affect your strength and your power. Uh, when it's balanced, you're going to feel more confident. You're going to feel more strong. You're going to feel um, more mentally balanced. You're going to feel like your health is good. You're going to feel more active. But when it's unbalanced, you're going to feel guilty, lack of energy, weakness, allergies, fatigue, low self-esteem, uh, worthlessness, um, and liver problems. So this chakra affects your um, personal freedom. In fact, you know, if you don't feel like you're an authentic person, that's because your solar plexus is off. If you have an ego problem or any type of personality disorder, that's come from your solar plexus. So if you start feeling like you're irresponsible or you feel like, um, you know, like the need for more control or you feel like somebody like you're a victim uh, mentally or just feeling like helplessness or um, you're having some problems with feeling secure uh, again, like feeling very authentic. That's how you know that your solar plexus is actually um, blocked. Some affirmations that you may want to use is like, I have purpose. I am enough. You know, I'm confident and um, authentic. You want to say I'm strong. You kind of want to reverse like anything that you may feel like, okay, this is how I feel. If I feel like I'm insecure, uh, one lesson in writing your affirmations and saying them daily is to actually say what you feel, say what's bothering you. So how we fix you. <laughs> so this is how we balance this out. What we're going to do is we're going to start being aware. You know, like you got to kind of like be present in this moment and realize what you're doing. Another thing that you need to do is kind of like uh, rediscover your gifts, rediscover who you are. Um, if you have a self-love issue, you know, where you're feeling insecure about stuff, buy a book. Work on building your self-love. Whatever that's bothering you, whatever you feel like is the culprit, what you need to do is strengthen that. So therefore, that's no longer a weakness of yours. Um, if you feel like, okay, you have a lot of people that's critics, you know, then therefore you need to create some boundaries. You know, people who always got something negative to say about you, create boundaries. And my favorite, always get you some crystals that um affects that so any kind of like yellow crystal tiger eye is good for this one as well um yellow tiger eye also meditate is great um take you a, a good bath like a spiritual bath now um i know like some good spiritual baths which you could do like salt water like put salt in the water in your bath water and some baking soda that actually like cleanses you that cleanses your aura that helps you out so these are things that you can actually do to actually help your um, solar plexus so the next one is the heart chakra so as you guys know this is the fourth one also this one right here is like where your heart is like the center of your chest 
So some things that you'll think about when you think about um, the heart chakra is that it talks about accept acceptance, compassion, love. Um, the color is green. Also, if you feel balanced, you know, you're going to feel more loving. You're going to feel more open hearted. You're going to feel emotionally balanced. You're going to feel trustfulness and tolerance. Now, if it's unbalanced, you feel loneliness. You know, you feel demanding. You feel jealous. You feel like uh, very critical, kind of cold hearted. You may be very narcissistic. Um, also, you may have heart or lung problems. You may have asthma or allergy. So some things that you may want to do is you may want to, um, of course, do meditation. Um, you may want to eat more green foods. Green foods, as you know, would be like anything that's a vegetable that's green. <laughs> or you could do apples or pears, but you want to eat more green food. You can also do crystals. And my favorite crystal to do for heart chakra or just to draw in love is rose quartz or green aventurin. If you find yourself actually feeling like, I can't move past this, you know, this whatever happened, this trauma, that's your heart chakra that's actually being affected. Or you just can't forgive people, um, that's your heart chakra. <laughs> if you feel like you're lacking empathy, you're um, unable to forgive people, you're isolating yourself, you feel a little withdrawn or you're overly critical of yourself or overly critical of others. Those are all your heart chakra. Um, also, if you feel like you're um, codependent of people, um, you always got to be around somebody. You know, if you feel like you lost your sense of identity, um, you lost your sense of personal boundaries. Also, um, saying, you know, yes to things um, when it, even when it hurts you. That's your heart chakra. That's when you know it's in balance. Some more things to do um, is you can volunteer. Because what you want to work on is like your compassion here. You want to work on your empathy. You want to go outside. Like being outside actually helps you um, balance your heart chakra and your root chakra. Um, physical activities is great for it. My favorite, like I said, meditation, um, affirmation. You want to say affirmation that says something like, I love myself. I'm open to love. You know, I'm connecting with others. Things like that helps. Um, I've already told you some crystals to use. And um, just like maybe some essential oils. I know like, um, just take it off the top of my head. I know like anything like flowers represents love. Like, ro um, yeah, roses is a good one. Um I think spearmint is a good one. So those are some things that you want to use to actually balance that heart chakra here. So here's our fifth chakra. So this is the throat chakra here. So this chakra is located where? Your throat. <laughs> anyway, so this chakra is talking about being more, uh, it's all about communication and your self-expression. The color here is blue. And um, when you feel balanced with this one, you feel more peaceful. You feel more truthful. You know, you find yourself being a good listener, having good communication skills. Um, you're able to um, strongly express yourself. You know, you find peace. But when it's unbalanced, you may find yourself shy, a weak voice. You ever feel like, oh, I'm just a shy person. That's your, um, that's your root chakra. I mean, not your root chakra. That is your throat chakra here. If you find yourself lying all the time or you know somebody who lies all the time, um, that's the throat chakra there. Um, arrogance, thyroids, hearing, and having throat pro um, problems are all um, an unbalanced um, sh a throat chakra. So any blue st um, stones will help you with this throat chakra here. Um, a couple I know is turquoise or aquamarine is a good one. Some things that uh, may be affecting you physically, though, I do want to make sure I say that again, that you may find your voice being hoarse. You may have sore throats. You may have sores in your mouth or your tongue, um, gum disease, ear infection, sinus infection, um, anything that may be dealing like with your shoulders, like tight shoulders, um, thyroid problems. Those are all throat chakra uh, problems. So if you balance your throat chakra, those things should naturally start to heal for you. So some things to do to kind of like um, heal your throat chakra. 
Well, in any of these, you can actually wear the color. Um, I forgot to say that in the beginning. Like, you can actually start incorporating that, those, that color in your life more. Also, like, use positive affirmation. Sing more. Using mantras. Um, you know, you can practice mindful eating. Also, you want to use uh, meditation as always. <laughs> um, eat more blue food. Blue food would be like blueberries, you know. Um, those are things that you want to start incorporating in your life to actually heal this um, throat chakra. So here we have the third eye chakra. I love this one. So the third eye chakra is um, the, it's your sixth chakra. Um, the color is indigo blue. It's located right between the, your, your eyebrows. Also, it represents like your intuition, your intelligence, your insight, your understanding. So if you find yourself having um, problems, um, like with eye problems, headache, migraines, brain disorder, um, any type of insomnia, that's all from your third eye chakra. If you find yourself lacking um, focus or purpose, or you find yourself depressed or confused, um, those are all signs that your third eye is imbalanced. Also, you will know if your um, third eye is like overactive because you may be obsessed with psychic vision or you may find yourself having hallucination or paranoia, nightmares, things like that. Um, you also uh, may have an underactive one where you have the inability to plan or set goals. Your vision is you're like you have poor vision, poor memory. You uh, have difficult, um, difficulty seeing the future and you lack imagination. You also may have mental illness. You know, you may have seizures, may have personality disorder. You may have a lot of headaches. But what you want to do is balance it to the point where you're starting to feel more optimistic. Your, uh, your perceptive is a change. Uh, you're able to imagine things. You have Your memory is good. You can recall your dreams and you just feel more aware here. So some crystals that you can do, I mean, that you can use that will help that is amethyst clear uh, quartz, uh, lapis, selenite. Those are some good things. Also, rosemary is good for your, like the essential oil, that's good for your um, your third eye. Um, you want to eat more like indigo blue foods, like such as like blueberries. Um, you can also eat things like um, purple sweet potatoes, blackberries, um, dark grapes, you know, purple grapes. Um, chia seeds. Those are things that will actually help you. You also want to um, do some affirmations. Those are actually something that can help you get your third eye balance. Some things to think about or some things to do also is to get better sleep. Like try to get at least, um, you know, six to eight hours of sleep. Um, maybe changing your diets, um, including some herbs in your diets, like some green ones. Also, mugwort is great. If you guys want to have a, a a good night's sleep, it's kind of crazy, but it kind of have your little um, have lucid dreams almost. But there, it's a good way to build your third eye is get you some mugwort. Um, you're gonna have the the craziest dreams, and um, but it will open up your third eye. Like I told you um, before, yoga meditation is always good for um, balancing yourself. So this is your seventh chakra, which is your um, crown chakra. So this is located at the top of your head. Um, this one is feeling like knowing, connected to the spirit worlds, connected to the universe. The color here is uh, either white or violet. Um, when you're balanced, you know, you feel more spiritual. You feel more blessed. Um, you um, have wisdom. You're more open minded. You find peace. You feel like you're connected to the universe. Also, if you're unbalanced, you um you kind of have, may have some uh, mental disorder. You may feel like you're very materialistic. Um, your memory, you may have memory or um, learning problems. You may feel broken. You may have like some spiritual crisis. Some other signs that you may have, um, if you have an underactive crown chakra, you may feel confused about some things. Like you don't know what direction you want to go in life. You may have some lack of inspiration. Uh, you may oversleep. You may um, have, if you have any type of blocks, um, your maybe some poor coordination, um, chronic tension headaches. You may feel exhausted here. 
Um, also, just some things to help you with is meditation, of course. Um, doing yoga is another good one. Getting you some crystals like um, amethyst will help you. Um, you can also do positive affirmation. Eat more purple foods. Um, that's always great. Also, clean your house. Like, you know, if you find yourself like hoarding a lot or you feel like your house is just dirty, cleaning um, cleaning your house will actually help clear your, um, your head space. So um, that's just like doing a spiritual bath sometimes is actually having a clean house where you can actually just sit there, enjoy it, and you don't have to worry about all the clutter around you. Start a spiritual practice, like start yourself on a spiritual practice, start digging deeper, start trying to learn more about it. I know that you guys are on a spiritual practice if you're listening to this video, because this is all about spirituality. So definitely like um, find something you like to do. Find You can find a community that can help you. You can do an energy clearing, like I always tell you, like I've told you like seven other times or six other times. You can definitely do an energy clearing that will help candles like using um the same color sh um candles for whatever chakra is off balance that's that helps you can meditate actually right in front of the um the candle and just st uh, sit there and stare at it you can pray more because when you pray you're talking to god and what you want to do is with the crown chakra you want to connect to that spiritual side you can also do ancestor work so you can actually connect to the the um your ancestors um, on the spiritual side, these are little things that you can actually do to actually um, help yourself on your spiritual journey, but also get you connected to the other side. But again, guys, we're at the end of the video. So one of the things I want you guys to do is to um, check out the links below. What I'm going to do is have everything that I told you about listed below. So it'll help you out with your spiritual journey. I'm going to include some books. I'm going to include, um, like I said, the... Um, the crystals and stuff um i may include like a link where you can buy some but just so you can have an understanding of you know everything that i spoke about today also be looking out for like some affirmations for um different chakras um so i'll be having that pretty soon and some meditation music so you can actually start meditating on these chakras because the goal here is for you guys to learn and um, grow. Like I told you, the one of the things I wanted to do this year was have you guys grow with me and learn more. And a lot of people be confused, but I want to have these videos so you guys won't be confused. And I hope that I explained this well enough for you. Because um, sometimes this could be a little difficulty. Maybe it's my throat chakra. <laughs> Maybe I have communication issues where I'm, I don't fully, um, I may not fully express it the way I need to express it. So if you guys have some good advice or, you know... For me, definitely find me on um, Instagram at lttarot.tarot .tarot, and we can have that conversation. If there's more things that you want to learn about, definitely find me on there and or email me and let's get to talking. Let's get to planning out some things because I really want you guys to grow. And I really know I'm rambling, but I really want you guys to grow. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.